Hi guys, uh, my name's Sten. I'm one of the artists here at Cook and Canvas. Uh, I've been here for about four years and I hope you're all at home keeping well. Um, we've been racking our brains for different projects that we can come up with for you guys uh, that are just fun and creative and utilize the things that you've already got at home. Um, and yeah, we have come up with a couple of different ideas which we're going to be uh, rolling out over the next few weeks. So uh, feel free to come along, check out what we're doing. Um, and yeah, we'll show you all the different things that we've got coming on. Now, one of the things uh, that we love doing here at Corking Canvas is seeing everyone else's creativity and watching all the different things that you guys come up with. So as we're doing these different projects, if you can think of anybody at home who you think might really enjoy this, don't forget to share this with them. Also, make sure that you share your works down in the comments below so that we can see it and so that everyone can see your works and we can share that love with everyone. So, um, yeah, today uh, what we've come up with is a salt drawing. Now, for this project, you just need a few things which you've already got at home, probably, uh, like salt. Um, just need some table salt, we've got some wood glue. Uh, for this project, I'm also going to be using uh, food colouring. You don't have to use food colouring. If you've already got, say, acrylic paint that you can water down or watercolours, they'll also work, but food colouring also works. I'm going to be using just a normal plate uh, for the colouring. If you want to use it for the paint as well, it just cleans off really easily as well. And then for the artwork itself, I'm going to be using one of our spare canvases. You don't have to use a canvas. If you want to use some paper or a plastic plate or a paper plate or something like that, you can use whatever you like. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be using a canvas. The other thing too, I'm going to be using some water and paint brushes. Uh, it was suggested to me, if you've got some makeup brushes at home that you're not using anymore, you can use those. They work really well. I actually use them at home. So yeah, they're all you need. So. For this project, um, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, paint out our drawing or our design using the glue. We're going to cover it with the salt and then we're going to use our colouring to be able to make it really bright and vibrant. I'm going to take you through this step by step, but yeah, everyone ready to get started? Let's go. All right, so for today, I'm going to be doing a jellyfish. Um, so essentially what you're doing is you're just drawing out your design on the canvas using your glue. Um, you can be a little bit liberal with your glue. I'm just going to do the head of my jellyfish here today. Give it a bit of a wavy bottom like so. I'm going to give it some lines coming up to the top. And the idea with the glue is that you want to give it something to hold the salt on with. So when you put the glue down, make sure you don't let it dry before you put the salt on. I'll show you that in a second. But you can see I'm just doing a very, very basic drawing of my jellyfish today with my tentacles. I'm not going to go into too much detail. And you know what? I think I might give it some bubbles as well. So just some dots here on the side. Simple. Okay, now, once you've done that, all you have to do is grab your salt and I'm just going to give it a very, very generous coating. Now the salt's going to soak up all of the moisture in our glue. So make sure you put a fair amount on. And once I've put the salt on, I'm going to give it a good sort of half hour or so to dry and soak up all of that moisture. And once it's done, then I can just brush off the excess and we'll use the salt to be able to color our jellyfish. So don't worry about going over the top of the lines and putting too much salt. If you want to, you can save that salt to use for another project afterwards. I've done it a few times and I keep all the excess salt so that I can use it for more salt drawings afterwards. So just make sure you give it a good coating. Okay. 
And the key to this as well is to make sure that there is a fair amount of salt there to be able to soak up all of the color as well. There we go. So I'm just gonna leave that now for a good sort of 20 minutes, half an hour or so to properly dry. And then once that's dry, then I'm gonna get the excess off and we're gonna to start to add some color. All right, guys, now we've let our design dry. Uh, the glue should be dry now and the salt should be stuck to the canvas. Now what we have to do is get the excess off the canvas uh, so that we can start applying the colors. So the easiest way I found to go about doing this is I've put some paper down on the table. All you wanna do is just tip your canvas up like this very, very slowly. Okay, and just get the excess off. This also allows you to be able to reuse the salt later on. Okay, so once you've got all that off, there we go. Just give it a good tap, like that, get the excess off. Yeah, and as you can see, now I've got a nice design with all of that salt stuck to it. Perfect. All right, now time to make up our colors. Now we're going to start making colors. Now, it doesn't matter whether or not you're using watercolors or acrylic paint or food coloring at home. Um, the key is really to make sure that they're watered down. And when you're putting them on the plate, you're making sure that they're in order of the color wheel. You don't want them all blending together and turning into like a murky color. So just hop on Google image, find a picture of a color wheel, something that looks like this. This will show you how all the colors mix together so that they don't blend together into a really murky, muddy brown. Um, and I'm gonna put my colors down in that order as well, okay? So today I'm using food coloring. I've only got four colors to work with. You might have more, um, but I'm gonna place them down on my plate in that order. So here we have my blue, my green, my yellow, my red. I'm gonna keep them in that order for my mix on the plate and for this if you're using food coloring just use a drop you don't need a great deal this goes a really long way so i'm just going to use a tiny drop of the blue there i'm going to add a little bit of green I do love some green all right got a bit of yellow here as well and you can see that i'm keeping them quite separate as well so that they're not they're not going to mix together really easily when I add the water. If you have them too close, they can end up merging and that, that's how they all end up mixing into a brown. Once you've got those colors down, then what you wanna do is just add a bit of water, okay? So I'm using a fairly big brush. I'm just mixing that down on the plate here. And this will carry a long way as well when you add a bit of water in. So I'm gonna add a bit in with this one as well. You can see it's still really, really dark. Yeah. Add a bit more. And in between putting the water in as well, I'm cleaning out the brush so I'm not carrying that across. I'm making sure that it's nice, fresh, clean water between each go. And I'm adding maybe two or three really big drops as well. Yeah. All right, last but not least, a bit of blue. There we go, that's looking good. All right, so now it's time to put it on the canvas. All right, so here we've got my canvas with the salt on it. I've got my colors here and I've got my brush with the water. What I want to do is start picking up the paint on the brush. Okay, so when I dunk it in there, it's got a bit of water in there. And then when I bring it over, I'm just going to drop that down on the salt and see how it drags that out. It starts to stretch the color on salt. Yeah. So now I can start using other colors. Add a little bit of yellow in there now. Now, if you keep them in order, what's gonna happen is when they blend from one end to the next, 
they're not going to turn muddy they're just going to shift really nicely from one end to the next let's, let's use a bit of red now and you'll see this will go from red into orange into yellow so you make a bit of a rainbow jellyfish I'm going to mix that up into blue now. And you just keep on adding those colors in. If you find that you start to run out, you can just mix up a bit more color. But you're going around and just adding that in. And as that dries, it's going to crystallize on the canvas and leave you with this really nice, colorful jellyfish. So have a play with that. Start to add in your colors. You just keep on layering that up bit by bit. All right, so now that we've left our uh, design to dry for a little bit, um, once it's done, it should look a little bit like this. Uh, so you can stick it up on the wall or you can give it a coat of varnish so that it seals it. But yeah, there's your finished masterpiece. Now, um, I just wanna say uh, thank you. It's been a pleasure being with you in this project and don't forget to uh, post your work in the comments below and also share them with your friends inspire them to get creative stay in contact stay connected stay creative and uh, stay tuned for what we're going to do next we'll see you next time